We all know that uh, Skull and Cree Naifa has been looking for a school. I mean, we've needed a new school here for nearly 40 years, and it's been 20 years that a school was promised for here, Banlaslo, our town's primary school. Um, and it's been really difficult because it's been such a long wait um, and very difficult for the children. This school, by the way, is the only DESH Band 1 school in County Galway. Um, and the update currently is that the board of this school and the principal, Christine O'Connor, are doing great work. I mean, they're engaging with the design team. They're looking at this new build for this area. Um, but they're also engaging with the Department of Education and with Galway County Council. And currently they're looking at finalising that design. And once that happens, then the Department of Education will be looking at the timeline for funding. Um, it is a case that there is a long process with this, but we need to make sure that it's accelerated and that it happens as soon as possible, especially for the children, especially for the families here. And I suppose just as a spokesperson on education and further on higher education, I mean, I'm really conscious that for our schools here, both the primary school here, the school out in Korea, um, and we also have the Gale School. I mean, all of these uh, schools are under a lot of pressure at the moment, remote learning, um, you know, teachers working from home and children trying to do their best. Um, we will be working hard with the case numbers coming down. We do hope to see schools opening up really soon. And I suppose just to wish uh, children well, but especially for St. Teresa's special school, they're going to be opening up now again on the 11th and we're going to see the, the special classes, along with the special class here in Skull and Queen Aoife, opening up around the 25th. And that's going to be a real, uh, real support for children that really could not access education through remote learning. Very difficult for some children with highly complex needs. Um, so thank you.